Hey everyone, what's up? It's Pro here, and today we're going to be creating a puzzle game, sort of. This is a uh, little new tutorial series that I've started here, and it guides you on creating a puzzle game. Alright, so first off, we're going to write a very, a very small plugin. Uh, it's going to be called mapdata.js, as you can see. Um, you can name it whatever you want, but it's just going to have two very simple functions. We're going to have a function um, that called get event x, and then id. By the way, uh, feel free to copy... Uh, this I have this in the description as well. You can just copy and paste it if you want, but I think it's best if you just kind of write it yourself. I guess I hear that's like a better way to do. It. Whatever, it's up to you. Anyway, um, if you do write it yourself, make sure all the capital letters are exactly the same, uh, and the lowercase letters and all that. Anyway, so this is going to be required because we're going to be using common events to check uh, events locations, <coughs> um, and we don't want to keep using variables to do all that. You can use variables, but this method is a little bit easier. Alrighty then. So, moving on, let's bring on over our RPG Maker VX, uh, our VX, blah, 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 RPG Maker MV project. Sorry, I was testing things there, um, testing to see if my functions worked. All right, so let's make our first puzzle. Um, let's go ahead and make a room. Uh, let's do a hmm. Let's let's okay. So let's go ahead and create a boulder puzzle for the first episode. Why not? Let's go ahead and make it into a dungeon. I'm just going to make a very simplistic looking map. Uh, this this is not a guide on mapping. This is just a guide on guiding people. My shoulder doesn't stop twitching. I'm going to start bitching. Okay, so I've set up a little basic map here. Um, I'm not really going to add any more details to it. So we're just going to have two little spots that you're supposed to push boulders onto. So these spots I'm going to... Um, display using hmm let's just use a little circles blue circle would stand out on the yellow ground so let's just do that I'm just gonna have it uh, animated and whatnot set to set uh th throw or through not throw why the hell do I keep calling it throw anyway uh, the trigger is going to be nothing we're not gonna worry about all that the priority however needs to be below characters that is very important so we have one here and we have one here now our boulders is very important to take note of our boulder IDs. This ID is three, so we're gonna we're just gonna call it boulder. But remember, its ID is three. You can check the ID at the top left of the thing. So we're gonna use a little boulder graphic. Where it be? I don't know. Am I retarded? Yes, I am retarded. There it is. Okay. Now. Um, I'll also, in the future, I'll go over, like, demonstrating how, if you want to have, like, two different color boulders and all that, um, I guess I'll do that probably in the next episode, I'm not really sure yet. Depends on how many likes this video gets. Alright, anyways, so, this boulder ID is three. Now, uh, we need to have the priority set to same as characters, and the trigger is action. We're just going to do set move route, this event, and then we're just going to do move away from player. Where is it? There it is. Move away from player. Oh yeah, and also check the skip if cannot move. That's all we're going to be doing for that one. Uh, we don't want to place it there though, that's for darn sure. And we're going to place a boulder down here as well. Again, this is very simplistic. You would obviously set it up um, more complicated for your little puzzle, but I'm showing you the basics on how to do it. This is uh, ID 4, so we have event ID 3 and 4 are our boulders. If you want, you can take note of that in a notepad file or whatever if you need to. Now, I'm just going to start our character here. What? Oh, what the hell? It's doing that stupid thing where, like, the actual menu is, like, off screen for some unknown reason. Whatever. Anyway, um, so our character is going to be here. And now, what we need to do now is uh, go to the bottom or go to some hidden area that's off screen or wherever you want to place it. And we're going to create a uh, parallel process. And we're going to do that by making an event. And we're going to select the trigger as parallel. Uh, make it even uh, blank or whatever. It doesn't have the whatever. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is conditional branch. And we're going to go to script. Now, if you recall our plugins or uh, commands here, get event x and get event y, we're going to do get event x 3 is equal to um, let's go ahead and get the IDs of our first things here. Okay. Now. This is the ID of 1. And this is the ID of 2. So. If, uh, if 
event three, if the exposition of event three is equal to exposition of event one, or exposition of event three is equal to exposition of event two, we're going to copy and paste that, and we're just going to do four instead of three, which is our second boulder. So basically what this is doing is it's checking to see if this boulder... Ow, my ears! Fuck! Ow. Turn that shit down. Alright, anyway, what it's doing is it's checking to see if this boulder here is on either one of these circles. And then after that, inside, it's also checking to see if this boulder is inside of either one of the circles. But that's not how we want to do it. Even I make mistakes. <laughs> now, um... Okay, so this is probably going to be a little bit confusing for everyone. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this down in Visual Studio. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, do this here. So, this is our... Let me zoom in. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Okay, um, so this is our event currently. So what we need to do is we need to wrap that in a um, little parenthesis here. Wrap the entire thing in parentheses. And then we're going to do two and symbols. And then we're going to do the same thing. Get event X. Or um, we're going to change X to Y, basically. So get event Y is equal to event one's y or event three's y is equal to event two's y. Now make sure that both of them are in parentheses like so. Uh, I'll go ahead and separate that for you so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Okay. What's going on is we're checking to see if event x3 is equal to event 1's x position or event two's exposition. And we're also, remember to close this entire section here in the parentheses with the expositions. And then in between new parentheses, after putting two and symbols, we're just changing X to Y for all of them. That's pretty much all we're doing. <laughs> And then we're going to do the same thing for this, except we're going to change event 3 to 4, which is our second boulder. There we go. Now it should work just fine if I didn't accidentally put something somewhere where it shouldn't have been. <laughs> so let's see. Get you there. You should also check the Y position now. Yeah, there we go. Puzzle complete. Now, um... Obviously, we need to tweak the victory thing a little bit. And we're just going to do control self switch A, turn that on, and then make a new event page uh, and check the self switch A. There we go. And that is how you create a basic boulder position puzzle uh, using a plugin that we wrote. Very small, simplistic plugin, but as extremely helpful as you can see. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.